I knew that he was emotionally withdrawing from me. And what did it was the fact that he had been promoted for a job that was then taken away from him. I looked at him and I said, something is wrong with you. Because at that point, I had his job, I had his parents in town, who on the second day, his mother turned to me and said, who is that man in this house? So she sent me to a very well-known neurologist. She said, you don't have a memory problem, you have a language problem. He doesn't tell me how he feels. He, he can't articulate that anymore. He just looks at me and he says, I'm so glad we're doing this life together. <laughs> That's what he says over and over. Well, he would bring things back home, a, a kid's bike that he saw laying in a yard, and I'd have to go take it back to wherever he got it. And then it got to the point where one day he pulled up in the driveway with another person's vehicle. She was a good person, she was a good mother, she was a good wife. This disease stole it all.